over all year long, um, point of emphasis for us. And actually, you know, we spent a good hour and a half in film session after the game, the day after the game, and uh, sitting at home, even in that first half when they hit shot after shot, we were right where we were supposed to be. We were trying to get under the post. We were trying to recover back up to shooters. Our rotations were spot on. We weren't g giving up, you know, penetration to the basket. Um, I thought our defensive effort was exceptional. They hit shots in the first half. So to answer your question, no, we didn't change anything in the second half. They made less shots. I thought we played with a sense of urgency on defense um, the entire game. Perhaps, you know, even ramped it up a little bit more in the second half. But I thought it was our best defensive effort of the season as a whole. Um, and then it doesn't hurt when we put together a string of scoring there in the second half. Uh, we had, I think, maybe six possessions in a row we were able to score. What do you, I mean, what do you, you, you go over film and that, what are you tell? is it, is there any secret to uh, playing good defense? I mean, I mean, I know there, there, there's, there are some things, but then there's some things, is it just, is it just effort or wanting to do it on the part of players? Well, it, you know, you have to, you have to, you know, good defense for, for me as the head coach is to be able to look at every player individually and say that none of them on any given possession made an error defensively. Either got too far in help or, you know, left a shooter or didn't switch this screen. I mean, when you talk about the totality of our defense, there are certain screens we switch, certain screens we get through. And so from, for them, they have to be thinking constantly this is a back screen, we're switching it. You know, this is a ball screen, we're switching it. You know, this is a handoff, we're getting through the middle. Like, they, they have to be thinking of on every single possession, every single bit of it. So, you know, what I looked for and what I felt good about was that I had possessions where we had all five kids executing the defense properly. Nobody made a mistake. There weren't errors within the defense within that possession. Um, you know, at times there will be four kids who run the possession exactly right and one kid who makes one poor decision on a screen and the defense breaks down. So, you know, I think a big part of it is focus. A big part of it is um, maybe just a determined attitude to get every single step of the defensive possession right. I mean, it's it's focus, it's determination, it's diligence, it's effort, it's, you know, it's all of those things. And, um, and I thought that we had that um, in this past game. I think that there, there's really, as of late, a, a real concept of, you know, let's get this right together as a group and, and not have any breakdowns. Defensively, kids are going to hit shots. I mean, we're playing against some good players. Right. But if they hit a good contested shot when we have properly rotated and you know got the shot contested, and then we box out at the end of the possession, I, you know you can't find fault in that. I'm I'm happy with that. Talk about Youngstown. They're next. Yep, Youngstown's a very good team. Um, they have, they're led by their two inside players in scoring. They're four and they're five. Um, one of them is a real threat as a step out player. She can drive it, she can shoot the three. Um, one of the top players in our league. Uh, both of them are seniors. And then they're surrounded by um, freshmen and sophomores who can really shoot it. Mm -hmm. And those kids, um, are too young to know or care who they're supposed to beat and who they aren't supposed to be. They're just playing games and, um, you know, they're playing with, you know, a lot of confidence. Um, they've won a lot of games and they're playing well. They have a really good inside-outside game and so they put pressure on you. Um, if you double or if you front or if you, uh, you know, if you front and you have to get all the way under and help side, they're going to find the open player and kids are going to hit shots and so um, you know it's it's going to be a tough game and we're going to have to be good defensively and and make good decisions and, and they still may hit some shots because they're good at what they do they make it very simple and they're very good at it
Mm -hmm. um, is that is that you know is that chemistry starting to come together? It yeah, gets it, better every day. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean we we've got kids that are playing a lot of minutes um, and and making good plays for us. I mean, one of the plays that comes to mind is the game was tight and we were playing against Balpo and we called a set um, to get a three point. We were down three. We called a set to get a three point shot and um, we ran it. Uh, instead of, so we had on the wings, we had Corey and Krishna, and instead of running it to Corey, who is our all-time leading three-point scorer, uh, we ran it towards Krishna's side, and she came off the screen, hit the shot like she'd done it a thousand times. And mm -hmm. just to have that confidence um, and to hit that, of course, hitting that makes a huge difference moving forward because everybody around you know, our team knows, well, we can run it to Krishna. She'll knock down the shot. Krishna feels better. And then teams we play against realize, well, we got to guard her, too. We get, can't just, you know, play right. out on right. Corey. So it just changes. The dynamic changes as as kids make plays. And both Allison and Krishna have come off the bench for us and really been able to have some good games for us and make, make a good difference for us. Um, so they're you know the chemistry is getting better with them and then we're still you know my three freshman big kids are sort of on a bit of a carousel ride you know um whichever one i call on going to get some minutes and just based on you know what they're doing in practice and um and at any given you know freshmen go through ups and downs so any given night um you know one of them hopefully whichever one i call on it would be really good so. i think this was this might have been the most minutes krishna's played against Valpo. She had 24 minutes in the game. Can you, and I remember early in one of these gatherings, you talked about how hard she worked mm -hmm. in the off season. Can you talk about hard work? Maybe she's not, you know, three points isn't a lot. Can, can you talk about how the progress you have seen and what she's done and maybe what you think she's capable of, of doing here with uh, more minutes? Well, Krishna, as I said earlier, worked as hard or harder than any kid I've ever had in the off season. And the thing that's really amazing about the way she worked was kids do that when, you know, they had playing time, but they just maybe they didn't get the numbers they wanted to get or they, they want to be able to shoot the three better or they want to be able to score better. Here's a kid who didn't play in maybe, you know, maybe five games uh, last year. Um, and she wanted to get time, and she got herself in a position, you know, worked really, really hard. Phys the physical condition she was in, the amount of shots she got up this year, this summer, um, were phenomenal. And so, you know, and you, you hope kids do that, um, because the alternative, and they do that, she did that with no guarantee. I mean, she still had how many people ahead of her in the lineup, and um, and I know that she was frustrated coming into the season and, and feeling like even after all this work, I'm still you know in this position. Um, you know, Krishna's story is one that um, you know coaches preach about all the time, but it's not often you don't often see it. Is be ready, be ready. Anything can happen. Be ready. You know, and it took four injuries to kids in the top ten um, to get to the top eight really to, you know four kids in the top eight to get you know Krishna on the floor and when she got on the floor she was ready um, and far far more ready than she would have been last year um, because of the time that she put in and so you know there's a there's got to be some sort of inner peace when it comes to Krishna knowing that she prepared for this exactly and the chances of this happening for her weren't great, but she prepared anyway and put herself in a position so that when it did happen, you know, she was able to capitalize on it. I mean, you know, good for her and not many people who could, could and would put in the time necessary um, to seize an opportunity like this. And Krishna, as I said, will con continue to get better because the one thing she has now that she maybe didn't feel like she had um, coming into the season was confidence from her teammates and from her coaching staff. Like we feel confident that she is going to be able to fill in where we need her to fill in, and um, you know, and she'll just continue 
to get better. And um, and I, so I, I feel like you know she's moving in the right direction. The team feels better and better about her every day. And so you know I'm really proud of what she's done already this season, and, and it'll get better. You see her basically is still staying on the wing. Can she do other things besides just playing on the wing for you? Or? Um, you know, she she right now, you know, her number one attribute, well, she, there are two. What you saw was her ability to knock down a three-point shot, chance. but her best attribute is her ability to defend. She is a very good on-the-ball defender and understands positioning and where she should be when she isn't on the ball, but her ability to move, her agility, her tenacity, her um, mental approach to the defensive side of the ball is, um, you know, really what would have got her on the floor, you know, in limited minutes um, prior to the injuries. Now, um, you know, we we typically put Corey on the best, you know, perimeter offensive player, and um, it gives us an opportunity when we put Krishna out there. She's with with Corey. We can take Corey off that kid and and put Krishna on that kid. So that's that's a nice um, option to have. But you know her her role will will continue to grow. We just need her to do what you know where the openings are. Like when when we need a a shot because everybody's sinking in on Imani or on you know Lex on the inside. She needs to be able to knock down that shot. We don't need her to do too much. We need her to to fill in a, a, a gap that we have in a play great defense. And she brings good defense to us. I think she makes us play better defense because of her tenacity on, on the defensive end. Your defense, you also had uh, Lex with five block shots in that game. I know she isn't maybe your typical shot blocker that's six, two or three or that. She's, she's sh a lot shorter than that. Uh, Talk about her defense, and also, I mean, she sat out a year, and sometimes it takes players a while to get, you know, to get rolling again after that. Just talk about how how she's playing and how she's, uh, you know, progressed after sitting out a year. Well, you know, Lex, even from when we recruited her out of high school, I mean, I really felt like she was going to have the ability to be a special player in this league. Her athleticism sets her apart. You know, you're right; she's. 5'10", and she's blocking an awful lot of shots. Um, I think coming in, if Lex could have attempted to block every shot, that's what she would have done. You know, we're trying to take, I mean, she had a nice game defensively for us in the last game, um, but we've tried to sort of curb that mentality defensively just because she also gets in foul trouble an awful lot. Um, so staying on her feet and playing solid defense, um, you know, is is really a big part of what we've been preaching to her. Now she had a couple of huge blocks for us in that game, um, right down the stretch when they needed a bucket, um, and she was able to get a block. So, you know, we know she's capable of that, and she may be able to make a big play that way. But um, so, from a defensive standpoint, Lex is naturally a shot blocker. She's naturally a kid that wants to go get the ball without boxing out. She's, she is an athlete, and we're asking her to be skilled as an athlete. And so doing the little things like the box out, like you know, staying in position defensively, those type of things, she's progressing in all those areas. And we'll still be able to use her athleticism you know, to benefit us. Um, offensively, what, you're, what we're seeing from her offensively is what you typically see from a really good freshman, and that is a big game, and then a couple games where they, you know, maybe don't score a bunch, and then a big game, and then some games where they don't score a bunch. I think because Lex is a junior in school and a, and a sophomore, you know, on the basketball team, she, she actually her bigger games are bigger than what you would think you would get out of a freshman. Um, you know, you look back at. Corey Coleman or Imani or Kirsten when they were freshmen or some of the great players we've had like Shane Winton or Shanita Garland or Kaylee Klein. Kaylee sort of was an exception because she had a lot of big games even as freshmen. But those kids they had, if you look through, they might have had three double figure scoring games in their freshman year. You just knew that they were capable of it but that that consistency would come later. 
and their role would change over time, which is true of any freshman. Um, we're seeing some some big games out of Lex, and and she has those breakout games every few games. I think we're we're seeing some really good stuff, and she will emerge as a primary primary scorer for us. Um, luckily, until she can get some of that consistency, she doesn't have to carry the scoring load. Right. She doesn't have to shoot it, you know, 20 times in order to score 18 points for us. I mean, we have three other proven scorers, and she can just you know, plug along and, and right. you know, have find her moments, I guess, so to speak. Um, so it's, it's I think, a pretty healthy balance where she is, and it's giving her a chance to grow and mature in that position until we graduate, you know, the, right. the bulk of our scoring.